the Rochester City School District would like to congratulate all staff at Wilson Magnet High School on their continued academic success and for its recent ranking of number 24 among Newsweek's top 1,200 high schools in America. I've had the opportunity on a few occasions to meet with some of you, members of the school-based planning team, students, and others. And I know you've heard me say this before. Wilson is our flagship school one of the best in the nation, and I would put Wilson up against any school in this country. Your recognition in Newsweek magazine as one of the best high schools in America doesn't come easy, we know that. We know that there's such a great deal of work and an unrelenting commitment to excellence that has led to this national recognition. That is the Wilson way. Your commitment and accomplishments make us all proud. More importantly, you have set the kind of standard of excellence in our community that we know more and more of our schools and students can achieve. In fact, you have set a standard of excellence for high schools in America, especially in urban communities. So let's see, you've gone from being recognized as the 143rd best high school in 2000, the 56th best high school in 2003, the 27th best high school in 2005, and the 24th best high school in 2006. I like the trend, that is terrific. I want to sincerely thank all of you for your dedication to providing the best education possible for our young people, for your commitment to our young people, and for your wonderful contributions to our community and district. You are the best. I'm Domingo Garcia, uh, President of the Board of Education. I apologize for not being able to be there with you in person. I know how valuable the reorganization of the Wilson Foundation and Commencement Academies is to the district. And I am pleased that you have taken on that challenge. The Rochester City School District has had many accomplishments in the past two years for, for which it can be very proud. We have made significant progress in student achievement. We have taken control of the finances of the district. And we are striving to build the most competent, qualified, and committed staff to manage our schools. But we are most proud of the achievement and the accomplishments of Wilson Madness School. Having been ranked number 24 in the nation by Newsweek magazine and having been ranked in the top 40 in the nation by the same magazine last year, it is an accomplishment that the Board of Education and the citizens of Rochester recognize and take pride in the work that you have done to reach this level of excellence. You need only to walk the Madison campus today to see the difference that a committed and highly dedicated staff can make in a building. A building is just concrete and plasterboard. What makes a school are the people who teach the children and create a healthy learning environment. We recognize the quality staff at Wilson, and as you take on the task of reorganization, I bid you good luck and best wishes in your endeavor. And I am proud, and Rochester should be proud, for having a school of this caliber in our district. My name is Vicki Covia and I'm the president of ASAR. ASAR represents building level and central office administrators, as well as mid-level managers. It is my honor to be able to address the Wilson staff this morning. A year ago, there were many critics to the concept of two campuses, but one school community. It had never been done before in the Rochester City School District. The Wilson team was created, and you, prove those critics wrong. It's obvious that your ability to work together as a team has helped you become one school community. I would also like to congratulate you on your recent ranking in Newsweek. It is an honor that you should be very proud of. Newsweek may have ranked you 24th, but Rochester ranks you number one. In closing, I'd like to commend each of you on your willingness to try something that had not been done before in the city of Rochester. It is obvious that the staff at Wilson understands the concepts of hard work and collaboration. I applaud your success and I am confident that someday Newsweek will finally get it and agree that Wilson is number one. As president of a union that is comprised of a dedicated group of support staff workers, it is proven that Bente members play a vital role in the success of students. 
Nowhere is the success due to the spirit of collaboration more evident than at the Wilson Foundation Academy. Sentries, custodial, food service, clerical, AV assistants, stock clerks and accompanists all perform a vital function in the operation of a school that has been recognized nationwide for creating successful students. This never would have been accomplished if everyone hadn't played a vital role. Clerical staff make certain that from the moment that children and parents enter the main office, they are greeted with respect and kindness. Sentries provide safety and security, and a role model for many children who feel more comfortable turning to them for guidance and support. Custodial and food service workers make certain that the kids are fed, the school is clean, and the environment is conducive for children to learn. AV assistants, stock clerks, and accompanists provide the tools, supplies, and support necessary for teachers to be able to provide an education that is second to none. The collective efforts to reorganize two buildings into one school community across two campuses could not have been done without everyone pulling together as one. Every member of our community played a vital role in creating successful students. Teachers, administrators, paraprofessionals, and Bente support staff workers should be commended for an achievement that needs all of you in order to thrive. Good morning. I'm happy to have the opportunity to share a few thoughts with you as you start your day at Beaver Hollow. I'm Debbie Jacket, second vice president of the Rochester Teachers Association. Adam Urbanski, RTA president, is away on union business. He sends his regards. A couple of weeks ago, I was at the New York State United Teachers Convention, which was held here in Rochester. Adam Urbanski greeted the delegates and spent a few minutes telling them about the wonderful educational collaboration happening here in Rochester. He then introduced Manny Rivera, who talked about the importance of collaboration and of the partnerships he has worked so hard to create and sustain. Superintendent Rivera said that when he talks to superintendents and school boards around the country, he tells them that collaboration is not an option, it's a necessity. He also acknowledged the help of NYSET in securing additional state funding for the district. A teacher from the Southern Tier was sitting near me and she said, I wish he would talk to my superintendent. Next to be introduced was Domingo Garcia, president of the Rochester Board of Education. He told the audience that the future is bright for Rochester schools because everyone is working together, focused on helping our students achieve. A teacher near me from the North Country said, I wish our board president could hear this. Finally, Adam introduced Bob Duffy, the mayor of Rochester. Bob talked about the respect he has for teachers. His mother was a teacher. He told the audience how grateful he is to the teachers of Rochester. We helped get him elected and he credited NYSET with helping the City of Rochester obtain a significant increase in state funding. A teacher from New York City said, I wish he was our mayor. I have to tell you, I felt proud to be a teacher in Rochester. Here were all of these powerful people bragging about our schools. And teachers from around the state were envious because they don't have these partnerships, this collaboration, or the pride that we have in our schools. And now to you, the staff at Wilson, your principal, Marilyn Peterson Grant, wrote to me last week. She said, we would not have been able to reorganize, nor would we have earned our 24 ranking without all units and individuals working together. I want our school community to know that others appreciate our hard work. I want them to hear encouragement to stay the course on behalf of our students. Debbie, I think you can tell that I am inherently biased. I think I work with some awesome folks. Well, Marilyn and all of the Wilson staff, I can tell you there are teachers around the city who are envious of you. The partnerships, the collaborations, the success of your school community. Oh, and don't forget the pride. You have a lot to be proud of. Have a great day and thank you. Hello, my name is John Jackson and I'm the Vice President of the Rochester Association of Paraprofessionals. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the administration and staff of the combined schools, Wilson Commencement Academy and the Madison Foundation Academy for continuing the high level of academic achievement established last year by Wilson. We at RAP would like to say 
You've set the benchmark standard, so continue to strive towards excellence in keeping that standard a reality. Hi, I'm Cheryl Scott, the interim president of the Wilson Magnet High. We are the advocates for our children and your students. There must be a bridge between the home, school, and community. We are that bridge. The partnership of parents, students, teachers, administrators, staff, and school-based planning is definitely a recipe for success. I know you all feel you have the best principal in the district, but Marilyn Patterson Grant is a wonderful balance of mom, disciplinarian, and friend. She is a true blessing for the parents and students of Wilson High. We appreciate everything the district is doing to create the environment for our children to thrive. Thank you and have a wonderful day.